really. You know, I might. <laughs> I know this is gonna sound selfish of me, but I might just keep this war going because I'm keep this war going past its due date just until we gain that stupid gas attack ca defense capabilities because we really do need it. It's not something that is that is like non requirable. It is something we desperately need. Otherwise, bad things are gonna happen. All right, so we got some more men building up. Got some more huskers. Because I realized last turn that the uh, tanks were not, tanks are not what is counted as a all-do, an all-around unit. It's counted as only a artillery unit. So, long live France! Panama City is now considered French. That is awesome. Okay, so now that we have this, fascism, conservatism, communism... You know, you need every ism in this, except for conservatism. That's the only one that's not winning. And, oh, I realize why I'm not winning in any of that respect. It's because I, for I didn't do gerrymandering. And if you guys don't know, gerrymandering basically keeps the leading party in power, which is what I was supposed to do, to jindoism. We're definitely a jindoistic people. I don't care what anyone else thinks. We have messed over more nations than any other person in the world. So I think we're more jindoistic. Okay. Now that we have a good standing relationships, I'm going to use the uh, cheat that I learned a long time ago to conquer places, to conquer places. So I'm going to use this, send these guys over here, and send these guys right over there. Oh, dang, I can't do it. Well, I'm going to move these guys over here, and then I'll send them over there. What basically it is, is that if you guys are wondering, if you guys are in like a one province minor, and you guys are wondering, eh, I have all these troops, but I can't get them across the British Canal, I can't get them across the French Canal. Just send like 11 or 12 ships right here of transports, and then you can just keep transporting as many troops as you want, because it's just like a major glitch or something. I don't know. It works every time, though, okay? That's rub- No! They make a good point, trust me. In all my years- Ah, shoot! Okay. This is one of those times the British actually want to fight me, okay? Usually, they don't usually like to fight on their own canal, so what we're going to have to make sure is that we win this. And you see, see what I mean? You just divide the army, and I already have all my men that are really expertly prepared training, all right? So now that we've gone a little bit into this war effort, they want accents. Okay, can I add my own war goal? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to add the war goal of, of not acquire the Highlands. I mean... I want to free the country of Scotland from the British. Okay. Now that we have that goal, let's continue with our attack on the British. So, um, right now the British are actually fighting us back with with good-sized men. Um, I should be reinforcing them anytime here soon. Like, anytime. And the British are definitely not... Lo they're definitely losing a lot of men. So that means this is definitely not going to be a British victory. Um, electricity is becoming more and more common grounds in our country um limited citizenship um and yeah this is okay you guys better hurry there we go there we go ah oh, shoot now we're starting to die more see i don't get that i add more soldiers and they die more that doesn't make any sense okay and i duh. yeah this definitely does illustrate the weakness of my government that i don't really have i need more troops but, uh, I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick up some of the Irish troops, since we're now done, basically, with the Irish wars, and communism, socialism, yeah, I know, socialism is taking over. Okay, I'm not particularly fond of it, and the Battle of Sturbe, we won, we won the battle, we won the battle with flying colors, but we want to make sure we keep the winning side, okay. So, yeah, we're keeping a pressure on the Great British. Um, I'm going to go move these guys over here to go conquer, like, South Minton. I mean, heck, we're the first people to invade the British in such a long time. I mean, the last invasion of the British was, like, the Germans. The Germans didn't really invade British. Let's, let's, I'll be honest here. The Germans didn't really invade British. They just kind of, like, meh, Britain. Yeah, meh, Britain. Okay, so we're doing a good job. I'm feeling kind of freaked out with that 29,000 troops coming at me, but I'm going to, like, heal my troops here for a little bit. Kind of give them a good standing. Um, if we just sit here, I'm pretty sure we'll live. It's going to be a big battle, though. Yes, it's going to be a big battle. So I'm just going to include these guys in the mix. Because, you know, I already know this is going to be a big battle. 
and we're gonna need more help. And let me see. Are they offering everything? Acquire Ulster, Scotland, all states. Okay. So now that 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 Austria has basically given up, it's now time to decide if we want to claim anything else. Because I do have a good amount of infamy to like take something else out of this war. And limb safety regulations, good minimum wage. Limited safety regulations, whatevs. You guys can get limited safety regulations. Because everyone wants that, apparently. Okay. But seriously, though. Um, we wanted to kind of think about this because I'm guaranteeing this is probably one of those last... This is one of those uh, last areas kind of things. And um, is there anything else that we could do to, like, damage the Great British? Um, anything industrially we want to do. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not, like... Claiming I should uh, go attack Austria. I mean, I would go free Austria or go free the rest of the Polish people, but I feel like I've helped the Polish people enough. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I've helped the Polish people a lot, especially in a lot of their wars. And you know what? I'm getting... The French are, the French are a little bit tired of always having to put Poland before its needs, so... I'm going to think about this for a second. Hmm... Uh, you see, there's really not... See, the problem with me is that I don't really consider there's not much really else we need. Like, I mean, there really is not much else we need from the Great British. And that's going to be an honest statement I'm going to keep to my grave because, I mean, there's really... What else could they really have that be that important to me? I mean, the steel industry might be important. But, I mean, look how much steel I have. I mean, that's a lot of steel, and most steel comes from China. In fact, I'd love to, if I could, I really wish I could have carved out a lot of China before they became a new state, so. But with the Great British, it's like, the actual landing stinks, but the colonies are awesome. But I don't really want the colonies. The colonies just means more work for me. And I don't really, I don't like work. Especially with colonies that aren't necessarily mine and will never be mine. But, hmm, you know, I'm thinking, you know, if we are going to completely split up the British Isles and be like, oh, shoot, these guys are dying like heck. Okay, so you guys, you guys will go pick up another army. Probably this one, because that's quicker. Um, we'll probably also use these guys in this process, but, hmm, you know what, Pruitt, I'm going to do it, and I know... I know it's going to cost me, but I'm going to do it because, heck, I'm the French and I can do whatever I want. And you know what that is, people? I bet you guys are going to love this because this will be what I want to do, or at least something that makes sense, is I'm going to take Wales from the Great British, which means we will officially have... Ah, oh, dang. Okay. Go right here. Stop your stupid sieging. Help keep these guys alive we're gonna make sure that whatever their revolution in Colombia luckily I don't care about Colombia um Litton what does Litton say California fears I might whatever I don't really care or Colombia or whatever it was it doesn't really matter and uh, it's gas attacks isn't it yep it's gas attacks I'd have no defense against gas see um that's one of those problems I'm going to have to deal with, is the fact I don't have the technology to defend myself against gas attacks. And it's one of those things I should already have. I mean, I'm honestly the country that invented gas attacks. So I honestly should have gas attack capabilities. Okay. Defense capabilities, I mean. Okay, you guys go right there. Go right there. We're just going to instantly go in. Okay. I should be on time. I mean, the British, the British may be good at fighting, but I'm way better at it. Okay. And then... These guys should be finished up at some point, so I'll move my troops over there. Okay. And peace from Austria. Um, I'm going to wait till this battle finishes before I, before I decide anything. It doesn't seem to be heading in our favor. But then again, you got to admit, we are fighting, we fought against a lot more British than they, than they had. So, you know, I can say we're doing pretty good. Behavioralism. Um, we could get a behavioralism, prestige gain. Um, electro furnaces, shoplift, uh, whew, what do we need? We also need some more tax efficiency, because we're starting to, we're starting to become a little bit lopsided with that. And, yeah, the British are definitely going to fight us out with that battle. So, we're going to have to, 
Ah, oh, dang. Come on. Conquer this as quickly as possible. And... Okay. Now you guys are there. Again, no. That's gonna take too long. I've learned that so many times. See, that was more instantaneous. Okay, you guys go right there. Okay, we'll survive long enough to get some troops over there. And... Ah, oh, dang. Okay, yep, we'll survive. We'll definitely have enough time. And newspaper! Letal, the free Java. And is anyone trying to get out of this war? Italy got out of this war. That was really stupid of them. Um, I don't... Wait, did Italy get what it wanted, though? Okay, no, Italy got what it wanted, so... I guess it was somewhat smart idea, but... It seems like the British... Not the British, the uh, Germans are sticking with us. That's good. Um, yep. And we just won that battle. And, of course, they're gonna ask for us to... You know, stop what we're doing. And we're just gonna attack. Revolt in the masses. No, I don't need this. I need to get gas attacks. I'm seriously... If I have to keep this war open... Until I get gas attacks. I seriously will. And you know what? Just because we're right here, I'm gonna go take over London. And I might as well... I might as well do this. Just because I'm kind of a... A moderator. And because a lot of our men are dying. And I don't really have much more of the protection against us. And... I don't know where that 160 men went, but I think we annihilated them. So... And... This should be really, really quick. Intervene immediately. Yeah. We're not entering out of this war. I'm, ser I'm serious, people. If you really thought I was joking, we're, I'm not entering out of this war until this gas attack defense capability is done because it seems like most other nations have a defense against it. And if our nation does not have a defense against us, that makes a weakness that people could exploit in the future, which is something we don't want. So I'm just going to split up. And if by chance the Germans do get out of this war, which... You know, I might see in the coming futures. Um, we definitely have the means and capability to go in and go conquer Baden and all these other places. I mean, they're going to be pretty weak from what they seem. And my troops are a little bit better than theirs, I think. Just tiny bit. Okay, and let's go send some of our troops to go. Um, the best place to start loading up would be right about here because it would be the best. Okay, now we got this. Split the division. Start sending over men to go, to go over and go take over these places. Okay, man. And I would like to also point out that France has not learned the lessons from the Great War, which is you're supposed to be, like, really terrified and really scared of Great Wars. We didn't really learn that. And the Germans are helping out. Oh, yeah! This is, like, the greatest war ever. Is when the Germans actually invade. Okay, okay, this, this this war made it worth it. The Germans invading Great Britain. That just made this entire war worth it. I'm sorry, anything else besides this point is just icing on the cake. The Germans invading Great Britain, that's... That makes me feel so happy. I'm gonna go send these guys. I'm gonna go send these two divisions to go over there. Oh my goodness. Ah, this might bankrupt me a little bit, but seriously, we need to... Come on, technologist, or come on, guys. Get your gas attack defense capability. If I seriously have to deal with gas attacks, I will be mad. And it seems like Germany has added another goal. No, wait, this is all their goals. They want to... What's Oshawa? Hmm. Probably something I won't do in the actual negotiations. Okay. Because I doubt the British will actually do anything the Germans say. Okay. But what... No, I'm not going to give you guys peace, because I want to take over... I want to take over the great capital of London, or sack the great capital of London. I'm, I'm really quite being, well, really quite being a jerk right now, and probably, this is probably wasting my resources of a great nation. But you know what? I have the means to do it, so you know what? And I really, really need to discover gas attacks. <laughs> I'm really stressing that point. We really need to discover gas attacks. Like, this is, it's, it's really quite important. Okay. We have conquered London! The great city of London is ours. That makes me feel happy, and so now I'm going to go take over more. We already took over Oxford. The Germans are helping us a lot. Oh, man. Maybe we could just annex the entire British Isles before we actually give up. I don't know. This sounds like just a great idea. Just Let's just keep hammering the British. They have nothing to offer us except pain. 
And you know what? It's time for France to get revenge for a lot of things. So I'm just gonna move by. Oh dang, it's still a little bit too big. Let me just like detract like two men. Okay, there we go. That should be big enough. There we go. Yep. Okay, let's go send some more men over there to go over to the canal. Oh man. I mean, we are really just gonna be splitting this up. And hmm, the British, the Germans are definitely not are definitely not willing to get out of this war. Oh, wait, did we just get what I needed? Yes! Okay, we got gas attack defense capability. That means we can end this war. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to completely screw over the Germans. I don't want Germany to conquer any of these lands, because that just means they become more powerful and potentially a more threat to me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into the war goal, go into Great British Powers, go over here, basically detract all the Germans war goals and just basically declare mine and with that everyone look at that <laughs> oh oh this is too great this is too awesome okay and now we have to demobilize um send all of our troops home the rest of them actually um is somebody on here I don't know, but I hope, okay, you know what, you guys just march over here, because that is our land now, and get some influence with Spain, influence nation, friendly, that's good, and then the conquest of Belgium, hopefully that'll go well, I don't know, if, I don't know, Netherlands has a good chance, because they don't have a good champ, and you guys detract as much as I can, because I'm not going to be, I'm going to try to be helping my middle class a little bit, by helping them grow. I'm going to be taxing the uh, poor a little bit heavier because I need them to do that. Um, and yeah, everything else is fine. We can begin a little bit of a uh, new reign as um, as we split up the uh, entire German, I mean the entire UK front. Not UK anymore. Remember this. They're not the UK anymore. They're the Great British. They're not the UK. They're the Great British. <laughs> oh, I feel so much like a jerk. And... Operation Divide the Ship has been achieved. So this is the first operation that was a success, so we can close that map. Yes! And, of course, Austria lost its little land. Germany gained nothing out of that except for, like, war operations. Um, we're going to reopen every single factory that may have closed. That way, it'll give them all an equal amount of treatment. Um, what else do we need to do? Um, where are our national focuses? Right now, our national focuses are derived from over here. Um, what I'm going to do is actually move these party loyalties to somewhere else because we have a strong, a strong, 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 um, um, socialist group in these areas. So I'm going to start encouraging them in, over here because we need to start ridding ourselves of the socialist world. So let me just, let me just, uh, click on here. That's what it was. Um, conservatism. Ile de France, because Ile de France has a pretty good amount of, uh, I think in the main point, no, we really are not, actually keeping Ile de France, because there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of headache in that area, and I'm going to move over, I'm going to no longer start creating that over there, if I, you know what I should do, actually, over here, I just thought of this, in most of I was trying to make a industrial corporation, you know, I'm just going to do it. Okay, Molster, Molster, wait, Molster, I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to make my own, like, factory here, because I can't, which, this is the only reason why socialism does become good, is that you can't do whatever you want, but the problem is, is that I have a really bad problem with that, and, you know what I'm going to do, because I just remembered that we could, we should really take advantage of this, is that, okay, so no one's making radio, um, who's making automobiles, no one really, the Germans! Oh! The Volkswagens must be destroyed! Nine! 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 Okay, so... Okay, so what we're gonna have to do with this is... Basically, I'm gonna have to create a lot of industrialized... Places. What? Really? Okay, it's not because we don't have money. Oh, it's because it's an eight factory state, that's why. I was like... It's not because we have money. I'm pretty sure it's not because we have money. Okay, Wales... Let's see how Wales is, actually. I've never really checked out Wales. Was it a good buy? 
Ulster was definitely a great buy. We got a lot of great things from it. Wales, pretty good buy. Um, I'm going to increase our... Ah, uh, damn, can't build another one. Tank, tank infantry. I mean, I may saturate the market with these things, but this is definitely something we need to, you know, kind of gain prominences is we have to gain prominence in all of the uh, it technological advances of today. Um, I'm pretty sure in airplanes we're already, we're already the masters. Let's see. Yeah, we're still the masters because we're like the only people that actually produce airplanes. So it's not, it's not that we have to deal with that. Um, let me see. West Indies. I don't want anyone in the West Indies because it's not really a state. Walney. It could definitely be an automotive company. Um, French Violent. You know what? It could definitely be a, a an automotive company because they are part German. So they definitely the rest of angles. Um, telephone company would be pretty profitable, but um, well, how are we doing in a telephone company? Are we one of the main producers? Dang, how did the Germans beat us in the telephone company? Ah, uh, I have to build up my industry. Okay, so, um, French Indian Territory, I know it's not going to grow. Um, French SL Allos, I can't really believe it is growing. Um, Champage, I'm going to build both a telephone company and an automobile company. Over here, I'm going to build a telephone company. And a automobile company. I mean, this should definitely increase my production by a lot. Because, you know, I'm tired of my capitalists being lazy and not building any of my stuff I needed a long, long time ago. So, I mean, we should have had all this. I mean, we should have been the leaders in automotive technology. At least. We were the ones who discovered the car. So, I don't know. I'm definitely going to do that. A fuel we find might also be good. You know, to help refine some of our fuel. Because we do have a fairly good amount. So... Anyways, that was the kind of episode, um, kind of went longer than I expected because I wanted to talk a lot about what I was going to do with my industrial thing, and, you know, while we're socialists, we might as well take advantage of the fact that we can build whatever we want, so, you know, that's good, and it's not going to last, people, trust me, I'll switch back to interventionism eventually, but for now, we're socialists, we are very much against the military, and it kind of stinks, I mean... I'm almost tempted to go all the way to communism because, in all honesty, if I'm going to be socialist, I might as well be communist because they have, oh my goodness, they're pacifist. Oh, heck no, am I going to do that? That just, no. Okay, everyone, see you guys next time. So, 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 loo, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The French Took On The World, and we won. Our winning streak is now 2-0. And... I just turned on my light because it's kind of getting dark in here. And basically, everyone, we're back here in our free flunts campaign, and we're just getting off the eaves of our great war where... Oh, uh, that's a different war. Revolutions, wars, relationships, and... Ah! Romania is going to become communist, isn't it? It's going to become communist. So I, it should deploy itself. It needs to defend its people all right. And how's... Oh my goodness, Brazil. Please tell me Brazil has enough men to the... Okay, it does have enough men. It does have enough men to defend itself. So I won't have to deal with uh, another thing over there. Anyways, all I was saying is that last time we became communists, we racked up a lot of infamy. Um, right now, the communist system is... Um, strangely working for us. I guess. We got any bonuses towards our economy because of it? Um, not really... Reparations, we're getting a lot from reparations, but anyways, we're a bit basically, uh, b -b -b basically, just basically, uh, just sitting here on our fat legs and growing fat. If I must be honest with you, that's all we're doing. I mean, most of the, uh, most of the stuff we need are just kind of basic. Um, we got a lot of good fort levels right here. Um, I'm gonna start increasing though these just in case. You know, I want to make sure just in case we go to war with Belgium that. All of our fortresses are pretty leveled, are pretty leveled, and now we don't have any problems there. So, let me do that, and let's continue. I don't really have to be, like, pausing it. I mean, we have enough time to, like, do anything, and as you can see, our uh, beliefs must be respected. As you can see, our projected, projected, um, army is not going to be the greatest, but it's fine me. I mean, it's not anything we can really do about it. It's just kind of what we have to deal with. And 
as you can see, France is completely undefended right now, with most of our army being subjected to deafness. You know, that disease called death. So, I'm waiting, before I start building up this new massive armies, so we can protect ourselves, I'm going to wait for all of our, um, at least, at least some of our advanced tank brigades to start building up and we start making more tanks because we want to make sure we do that. And also, if you guys don't know, last episode we did, like, build a lot of, um, tanks and stuff. And it was a pretty awesome, it was pretty awesome to see us, like, finally get back into the industrialized score and, you know, start competing with the Germans in more advanced areas, which... I don't even know how the Germans even came to the point that they are. I'm gonna be honest with you, that kind of scares me. Because with the Germans having much more autonomy than they did in the previous years, this means we're gonna have to deal with a lot, and Belgium's trying to fight back. That's so cute. Okay, um, what we need to be doing though is recruiting a lot of new soldiers, so I'm just gonna mass produce a lot of those guys. And I know I just said I wouldn't do that, but we need to at least have something right here in our lines. Because we have nothing, and that's kind of scary. We have nothing on our lines. And if there were to be an attack right now, we would totally lose. And I'm going to start pushing some of my men. And I think I'm just going to keep these guys right here. Because since they're in total about 40 men, if I divide them evenly, um, they're about 25 men on each side. And that's a good enough number to keep the British in check. And... Honestly, we can see the entire British Isles if we wanted to. Because now that we own everything, we own everything. And um, I'm going to make sure that I keep at least one point inside of Scotland. That way we do not lose them in our sphere. Because as we've learned through the past, we can lose a lot of our places because of spheres. Right? And, and also, I've been thinking that... Oh, wait. Do these guys allow... Oh, dang it! They became communist! Huh. Oh, I bet you guys are wondering why I just said that. I was going to try to see if I could build up them and, you know, build them up, but I guess not. And over here in Mexico, I've decided for some strange reason I have a knack for just wanting to, like, improve the Mexican government. And I just realized I can't because I am socialist. Dang, I forget about my, my roles in the universe. Okay, but what I am going to do is I'm going to open up a, uh, a telephone company over here. A... I don't want them to be a big producer of telephone companies. Um, let's see, what else do I want? I want a... A lumber... Wow, I'll make a lot of money from that. A lumber yard from over there. Durango. And one more factory over here, just so I can gain a little bit more. And a machine parts from over there. That way I have a good balance. Okay? Okay, now we can get back to our actual play. And just kind of like rebuilding and kind of relaxing for my war. Um, yeah. We're definitely, we're definitely on the fritz of having no army. That's really good, but yes, we shall attend. Um, revolution, Romania, yeah. I know, I know, the Romanians rebelled again. And now I have nothing, nothing. And so we're going to have to re-sphere them again. Romania, I, uh, you know, you aggravate me. I seriously think you guys could control all these rebel problems, but you guys just don't. And which makes me so angry because, you know, you guys are so... Uh, okay, yeah. I'm really frustrated with the whole entire Romanian front. That's all I just gotta say. And... Input efficiency. I think we might need this because our factories are becoming more and more... Are becoming more and more difficult to manage. And now that we have passed a little bit, now we can start checking because... Okay, so... This can collapse because it is a new... It's pretty new. I mean, I think it's been around for a while, but I don't think it really upgraded. And we got all these factories. We got a lot of factories being made. Which is good, because we really need to saturate the market with our products. And radios, I'm also wishing I could go into the market of radios. But I don't remember how to produce radios. And there's a new internal crisis. Um... Bulgaria. Bulgaria, the Bulgarian crisis of independence. Um, let me see how this is shaping up to be. China immediately supports the Ottomans. Well, I honestly don't want to be in this war. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. We just recovered from our great war. And I'm not in the mood to just go directly into another war. So I'm, and I'm more in tune to just like relax, kind of build up my army. And just kind of relax. I mean, we just got our first fuel depot. 
Look how look how far we are. We've been a great power for so long. We just got our first fuel depot. That is called improvements or negligence on my stupid capitalist parts. Uh, I, I know I'm I'm knocking on the capitalist system pretty hard here, but I'm pretty mad at the capitalists that they did not like build any of this and made the Germans gain the head. I mean, then again, I have seen the Germans become communists before, and it has helped them. Excellent initiative. Whatever. I don't really care. Just it has a gentleman on its front, so that means oh no, dang it. Okay. So let's see who's going to be in this crisis. Germany, America. They're going to be more inclined to choose the Chinese. They're going to be more inclined to choose. Okay, they're going to be choosing the Chinese. They're going to be choosing the United States. I mean the Chinese. Okay, you know what? I'll join this. I'll join this crisis, and hopefully, I'm going to wait until the very last second when everyone else chooses the Chinese. And I'm sorry, Bulgaria, for not granting your independence. But seriously, I'm still waiting for Albania to do its independence movement, but it's really lacks the days goal. And Paris, what? You're a lady? What? The growth of our colonies have turned Paris into a constantly expanding cultural and economic nave of an empire. Every day with every passing hour, people from every conceived corner of the world, we have many of ours arrive in our capital to tour our ministers, to trade with our merchants, engineers, and industrialists, and to experience any one of the multitude of fates that Paris affords its visitors. Standing at Paris Central, one can see all around oneself a small paranormal of the world. He has spoken any and all the variety tongues and languages of the world, and smell both the scents and the odors of faraway lands. That doesn't, that last part doesn't really sound particularly inviting. In the annuals of the French Empire, the year around 1812 will always be remembered as the golden age of Paris. Ah, and may the mem memoir live on. That was beautiful. Okay, so it's probably going to take a couple turns before um, before any of these guys will be ready. And I'm seriously thinking I should start recruiting. You know what, Pruitt? I'm going to start, like, doing my own little local militia men to deal with these, uh, my to yours. I'm going to start recruiting my own little mis- Okay, I'm going to get a little bit- Just, like, decrease the speed a little bit. I'm going to start recruiting some of these guys. Because, you know, I want some local military in this area. So we can stop having, uh, I'm getting tired of all these rebellions, so I'm going to start, like, making local militiamen here. So we can start, like, actually protecting our colonies. Because, you know what, I'm tired of our colonies being one of the worst in the country. And, you know, we need to start, like, we need to really start managing our time better. And, you know, I'll build two, since I can build two. Already? Scotland, what happened? You guys are my bros, what happened? You guys aren't supposed to go in debt yet. Uh, well, that's what happens to, to communist countries, that they go into debt pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to start producing a lot of this uh, draft and build one takeover here. So this will be my new African army for this little colony. And let's see. Um, Le Tomps! Oh, Le Tomps! Oh, I did it again. The rise of Sweden. Okay, Sweden became a great power again. Good job, Sweden. And Germany, I'm waiting for Germany to say the Chinese. If they somehow, because I guarantee if I choose this side, they're probably going to choose the opposite side. Which, I'm not particularly ready for another, oh my goodness, what happened? Why are the communists organizing? Oh my goodness, the communists have organized. That is not good. So, would it help if I just switch my party from the... Okay, would it help this situation? Okay, how... I'm not getting this. How is that not going down because I am a communist state? Okay, and... Yep, great piece. Didn't have to do it. If you guys are wondering why did I become communist? Well, I'm trying to... I'm trying to, like, curve everything. It's not working particularly well. And, because I, I don't get that. that. That's what I don't get about this game, is that... The movement system and rebellion system, I think, is one of the worst, because... Honestly, if I'm communist, I don't, there should be no rebels. My government is communist right now, so why do we need you guys? Okay, Romania. Romania is becoming back in our sphere, that's good. Okay, and I don't, I don't know how our government degraded the communism. Well, we are electoral communism, so we aren't technically communists. We're just electoral communists. Okay, but anyways, we have to gain control back under our, 
a bill. I'm tired of having rebellions in my country. I'm finally knocking down on that because, you know, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all these, like, rebellions and having constantly deal with fighting in some part of our colonies. So, you know, I'm going to take a moment off screen to just, like, recruit as many people in both this sphere, this sphere, this sphere, and that sphere, this sphere, and in the, definitely in the French Korea front. Just in case, because we want to make sure that if we ever fought against Japan, we would be ready. So, see you guys in a little bit.